Pat McGuinness, National Housing Party. Been in Mitcham for the last two days leafleting for Pauline Everest's local election campaign, which uh, the election date is on uh, 2026. Now, I've had three good interactions with the public just by doing leafleting. You know, sometimes you go to a door and you know the, the person's either coming out the door or going in the door and you say oh is a, a leaflet we're a new party we're gonna have a candidate in this area in 2026 and you get talking to them some of them you know there was one particular lady she was coming out of her door getting in her car and i said oh we're a new political party and she was like oh no 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 and I said, well, we're a new party. We don't, we're not Labour, we're not Conservative. We want to stop the boats. As soon as you say that, she's like, oh yeah, yeah, I'll have a read of that. And her mate on the phone, she even wanted the leaflet as well. So people are sick of the Lib Lab con, but as soon as you tell them we're a new party and we want to stop the boats and put uh, the British working class on the waiting list for council flats and stop accepting refugees, they're very interested. So that was one. Another one, um, they've got a problem with um, people picking up their children from the school and they're parking all in front of people's drives and they try to put double yellow lines down and it's not stopped the, the mothers coming along in their cars and, and hogging up all the, uh, the street with their, with their cars. And um, so they basically want, um, they want residence permits. And um, this, is a, this is a local issue that I've discovered just by going out and leafleting and speaking to the public. And I had a good chat with them and um, I've taken down their details and I'll pass it on to Pauline. And so potentially we could uh, be putting on the leaflet, we, we're campaigning for residence parking in Mitcham because there isn't any residence parking in most places. Um, the third one I spoke to, she actually was so interested and so angry you know, she was another one. I explained to her, you know, we're a political party. She was like, oh, that. And I said, no, we're a new one. And, um, you know, I explained to her what we're about. And she was like, oh, yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, I, I, yeah I'm interested. And um, she even said she's willing, she, she's given me her number. She's even said she's willing to um, have a chat on the phone about potentially being a candidate. So just two days leafleting in Mitcham. I'm out speaking to the public and they are literally waiting for a new party to stand in the elections. This is in London, folks, and this is the same situation all over London. Many nationalist patriotic parties, just, they slag London off and it gets on my nerves, saying bad things about London. There's still a million patriotic working class people in London and then another million indigenous British, but they're lefties. That's, that's my estimate. Um, so yeah, this is, is, in my opinion, London, Birmingham, maybe Manchester, are the best places to stand because Labour, they're the dominant party in all these places and they are on their last legs. They're a tiny minority of the voters voting them in. And all we've got to do is stand in the local election. So three good interactions on my leafleting. I've got a little bit more to do. Just um, stand a hot dog for a bit of food to keep me going. And, um, you know, we, we've got to, um, I personally think that the four year gap may be in our favour. I used to think it was really bad and it should be every year, but in the big cities, the local elections every four years, it gives us enough time to prepare because we're just doing the warm up leaflet now. As soon as we've leafleted the ward with that, we'll start working on Pauline's leaflet. And, um, I'm really looking forward to it and I think we've got a really good chance because, you know, it's about a year and three quarters till the election now. And I've been campaigning hard in my ward uh, for the last year. So, um, but yeah, you've got to get out there. You've got to speak to the public. They're not just going to vote on vote for you just on the strength of one leaflet through the letterbox, never even spoke to anyone. Some people will, but not enough people. So um, get involved, join a party. You know, even if you don't want to join our party, go and join a party because it's just, a, it's just a case of standing in elections and we can beat Labour in the inner cities. Thanks very much. Jesus Christ is King.